The story begins on Kai Lem, where Rowan and Will are packing their bags to head to wizard school. They're going to wizard school because off-screen, Kazmina showed up and convinced them to take some electives, presumably to groom them for the Planeswalker Illuminati. Garrick, off-screen, is okay with this, so he fucks off before we can ever see him fulfill his role as the twins' godfather. Liliana has secured herself a teaching job somehow, and she still feels really bad about that whole Gideon thing, so she's looking for ways to bring him back to life. The teacher part is just a part-time job? Don't know why she needs to do that, but apparently she studied here when she was young. Younger. You might be saying, hey wait, I thought you said Liliana was hiding out and living a normal life on Fiora with a different identity, to which I say, you're right, but no one read War of the Spark 2, so if we just pretend it didn't happen and don't ask questions, it'll all work itself out. Also, there's a group of people called the Arik, and they're the bad guys with mysterious motives. Liliana thinks they're gonna be a big deal and is worried about it, but all the other teachers at the school are like, pfft, nah, there's nothing to worry about, it's probably just some kids playing pranks. Meanwhile, Luca is also just kinda here, he meets and becomes friends with a fox and names it Mila, and you might be saying, hey, that's a pretty huge departure from his established character. He doesn't like animals, and he sees them exclusively as tools. The Pategia tiger on Ikoria didn't even get a name despite it being a main character, to which I say, you're right, but no one read Sundered Bond, so if we just pretend it didn't happen and don't ask questions, it'll all work itself out. He gets kidnapped by the Arik, and they recruit him into their ranks off screen, so we never find out why he joined up, but I'm gonna assume it's because they offer good dental. Will really wants to study like a big dumb nerd, and Rowan really wants to hang out like a cool red gamer mage, and they gets into some fights about it. Rowan is kind of just a huge asshole for no reason, which is actually faithful to the character, including their weird relationship with non-human races. Hey Rowan, what do you suppose an owlin is? <laughs> But to be fair, there aren't any elves around. They get into a lot of arguments with each other, and at one point, Rowan Essence sucks some other random students familiar like a vampire, and no one really acknowledges it at the time, but it's gonna be important later. Then, at a Mage Tower game, Will sees someone active trees in a mascot, and this is gonna be important later too. Will runs into Rowan at the game, and they're still mad at each other, so they try to kick the shit out of each other right there in the stands. Liliana sees this and magically identifies them as the main characters, so she pulls them aside and clues them in on the big time Arik threat. That instantly makes the twins stop fighting and work hard to get strong and fight some dudes who haven't actually done anything in the story yet. Kazmina gets into a big fight with Luca out of nowhere and he wins, which forces her to planeswalk away. Extus, who is the main character by the way, is also there. He is mad at the school because he wasn't smart enough to get into college, which hey, maybe he's got a point that the largest library in the multiverse shouldn't get to pick and choose who has access to information and maybe having a monopoly on knowledge and therefore being the arbiter of who can and cannot obtain power and status isn't exactly morally sound. Extus pats Luca on the back like, nice bro, are you good controlling my army of mage hunters? I'm not like your other mages. Okay, commence the attack! So the story finally actually starts in the fourth of five episodes. The Eureka attack the school with their army of mage hunters, which are basically just bugs. The school is thrown into chaos. Will and Rowan find each other and are like, wow, we should get over our differences. We're family after all. And then Liliana finds them and is like, come with me. So they come with her and she leads them to the Hall of Oracles where Extus is doing a big ol' spell. Liliana gets forcibly teleported away, leaving the twins to finish this on their own. Extus uses the Snarl, which is basically the focal point of magic for the entire plane and for some reason wasn't guarded at all, and channels it into a powerful ritual, summoning the Blood Avatar. Will gets bodied by some falling rocks before he does anything. Rowan gets dangerously close to being interesting by almost having a Dark Phoenix moment when she tries to essence suck the big magic rock, just like that one dude's pet from earlier, but it doesn't work. Will gets up and active treasons the blood avatar and Rowan adds her last little bit of power to it and they successfully take control of the avatar. They use it to immediately fucking kill Extus, at which point the spell ends and the blood avatar is unsummoned. As it's on its way out though, it takes a chop at Will and cuts his leg off below the knee. Luca gets bored of sieging the campus so he stops controlling the bugs and fucks off. Five days later, everything at school is hunky-dory like nothing ever happened. Rowan and Will stay in school, Kazmina watches them with her creepy spy owls, and Luca kinda just fucks off into the woods some more. Liliana stays on as a teacher, but decides she's not gonna try and revive Gideon more, and starts using her real name again. The end.